Well, good morning to you and welcome back. Taking a look outside so far this morning, clear skies among many of our communities. Our feels like temperatures are sitting right at 20 degrees. It's a little bit on the chillier side if you are headed out this morning. Satellite and radar goes to show that we've got lots of cloud cover among many of our communities and off to our west. A little bit of snow is starting to accumulate and form in Iowa. Now that system is actually going to make its way into our region as clouds thicken today and ultimately brings us additional chances for uh, some snow showers as we make our way into Sunday. Luckily today is going to stay dry. However, we are going to really start to see that uh, really enhanced cloud cover sticking around for many of our communities. Temperatures are cold in the upper teens and lower 20s, a little bit warmer right along the lake shore just because of the lake breeze overnight. Winds are pushing in from the south at about 5 to 10 miles an hour. They're actually going to be rather quiet today. They'll start to really ramp up as soon as we make our way into Monday for the start of the work week. This weekend, things are looking a little bit on the cooler side. Again, mostly cloudy skies today with high temperatures in the upper 30s. But as we make our way into tomorrow, temperatures tank just a touch into those um, middle 30s. Now we are going to see cloud cover increase today. We could pick up on some light flurries in some of our lakeshore communities, but it doesn't look like anything that's going to accumulate. As we head into tonight, cloud cover recedes just a touch for our southern counties, but we'll move right back in as early as Sunday morning. It looks like our chances for flurries overnight are possible, but it's actually going to be more low key. Just a couple passing flurries. Our real chance for snow is going to make its way into the region by Sunday morning at 8 a.m. That is going to push through, bringing us additional chances for snow showers. And as temperatures begin to climb throughout the day, we'll have the potential for some of a wintry mix with a little bit of rain potential right along the lake shore and in parts of Grand Rapids throughout the afternoon. As we head into the rest of Sunday, that cloud cover starts to break. We'll start to see a lull in those snow showers. And then as we head into Monday and Tuesday, chances for random lake effects showers are going to be possible just because of our temperatures. So expect to see full on snow showers for tomorrow, but then the rest of the week is really just going to be lake effect hit or miss. As we head into the next couple of hours, we'll start to see the potential for that snowfall increase mainly by Sunday. We're thinking anywhere between about one to two inches for many of our communities by the end of the weekend. For today, high temperatures rise to 37 degrees. We've got increasing clouds and chilly conditions. Low temperatures tonight, they fall all the way into the mid 20s to lower 30s. And then high temperatures for tomorrow look to be in the mid 30s as well. Again, we'll continue to see those 30s. That's going to continue into next week. A lot colder, getting pretty close to freezing for Monday and Tuesday. Lake effect snow showers as we make our way into the start of the work week. And then just a couple chances for some hit or miss flurries for Wednesday and Thursday as temperatures begin to increase for the end of next week, all the way into those 40s by Friday.